So moving on to the next stage of our evolution here, uh, I'm going to install some Office tools, not Microsoft Office. I'm going to use LibreOffice, which is another open source Office-ish clone. Uh, because we're probably going to need to go through some Excel spreadsheets or do some documentation at some point in time here. And that's going to be useful. Now, one of the other things that you're going to need to know how to do as an IT professional is no matter what, again, how advanced you get in your career, you're going to learn that full hard drives are bad. And if you're not monitoring and logging and you don't have something watching your drives and seeing your drives fill up having some sort of uh, RMM remote management and monitoring system in some way shape or form you're going to have system crashes and those system crashes are going to be because your drive filled up in Linux and Windows that's a very very bad thing if you go to your C drive and your C drive is just full you have zero space left. You've got nothing, you know, instead of 395 gigs free of 475, I have zero, zero KB free of 700, 475 gigs. You're going to have a problem. Your system is going to halt. Your services are going to crash. People can't print. People can't save. A whole bunch of things are going to collapse and you're going to get phone calls and you're going to be wondering, man, I need to find some space to delete some things. And one of the important things you're gonna to need to do is learn how to use a program like Winderstat, right? We don't know where the files are that might be gobbling up all of the resources. Those files might be 10 folders deep. Well, Winderstat is gonna give you a nice display of all of the files that are being used inside the system. So we're gonna just let Winderstat run here. And this is not a full machine. This is not gonna take a giant pile of time, but this is also impacted by the rewrite speeds of the drive. So as we learned earlier, we've got a pretty decent read write speed on this machine in the NVMe that's inside it of the God PC. And that's gonna let us go through this pretty fast so you can see it ticking away up here in the lower in the upper left hand corner once that reaches 100 it's going to show us where all the files are and it's going to show us in the, them in a nice graphical clear text this is not just great for technicians but this is great to explain to normal users or points of contact uh, the people who are in charge at some of your companies oh hey you know billy is putting a hundred gigs of movies on the server at work. And I know that Billy is your, your, your little nephew, but you need to tell him to stop doing this. This is really bad. This is making your company have problems and things are falling over. And once you explain to them and you show them with a graphical representation, and here we go. This is the graphical representation of all the files that are inside this computer. And this is really valuable. Over here in the, uh, the upper right hand corner, uh, you can see that we've got DLLs, we've got ISOs, .iso files, which when we click this over here in the upper right, it highlights for us what those are so that we can find them. And you can see one of the reasons that I downloaded these files, this is in the lower left hand corner down here, you'll see it highlight exactly what that file is. You'll see that this is Windows 11. Okay, great. We've got Windows 11. This is Ubuntu. That way we can have an Ubuntu ISO or a virtual machine later on. And this is a Kali 2024 ISO. But you can see that just downloading three ISOs, these really pop out. They really dominate so much of the visual landscape. And when we go look at what these are, these are system files. Oh, these are my hibernation file and my page file, which are where my memory stored files are um, these are these are files that are for system use and if i had more memory these would be larger files uh, typically if you have a 32 gig memory 
allocation in the system, you might have, depending on how you've set up your hibernation, these are environment variables, uh, you might have up to 32 gigs of swap file, or you might have up to 32 gigs of a page file. So deleting these would be really bad. You would have a problem. But let's go through some of the other files and where they're at. The win SXS files. Because again, we're looking down here. These are all files that are part of the Windows update system. So if we go take a look at win we can get all sorts of advice here on how we can clean up space in the win SXS file and what it's about. We can learn about the side by side. We can learn about, hey, what folders? Can I delete it? Should I delete it? And these are really valuable because these are part of your disk cleanup settings. You can understand after you read some of these articles about the side by side, the SXS file, uh, you can learn that these are part of your rollbacks. You can have, if you delete all of these files, I hit command prompt by accident. If you delete all these files, you might not be able to roll back from certain updates that have been installed. This is where these things get stored. And as we drill down deeper, you can see here again, again in the lower left, these are all files in the system 32 driver store. These are files in the system, just system 32. Here's your syswow64. And as we go through, here's some software distributions. Right, we got files, some installer MSIs in here. Uh, we got some .NET Framework files. And as we go down here, we'll see system apps, or some fonts, right? You probably didn't realize fonts were so big. Um, you've got some assemblies and native images here. You've got some logs, right? You got some uh, system resources, services, uh, containers, interesting application guard containers what wim uh, those might be interesting to go look at learn what they are uh, we've got some app data stuff which is more my user stuff uh, you've got some cache files here these are probably going to grow as we work you've got some of the videos that i've recorded these are small remember this is a whole iso this is a dvd and you can see that these videos videos will take up a decent amount of space and then as we go down through here you'll see more program files x86 kind of stuff um, and then you know you've got our program files in Chrome this is the actual Chrome installer uh, it's just currently in a zip file because when Chrome downloads an update it downloads it here's a 7 zip um, and then we've got a whole bunch of other stuff in here here's the the LibreOffice we just installed um, AMD files uh, because this is a Ryzen chip so it's nat natural we're gonna have a bunch of AMD uh, things there's a Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection DLLs here uh, because we're running Windows Defender, which is the antivirus out of the box. And that kind of gives you just a, a, a sum of the functionality of this program and why you're going to want to use it to, dis to troubleshoot and learn where files are that you can delete in the system and where you can go learn about your system and where these files are stored and what they might be doing. And it might be valuable, obviously, because this whole space here is your S is your Windows SXS, or as we just learned by Googling the Windows side by side. And you can learn all about all these programs and all these files, even though none of this is necessarily critical to what's actually going on. So uh, here we go, folks. Thank you so much for following this one. Let's uh, let's get another video going and get y'all trained up a little bit more.